thanks for being here. From the very beginning, when all of this happened, when the government uh, came into our home and took me away from our kids, and then ultimately from the people of Illinois, I said from the beginning, I did nothing illegal. I said from the very beginning that the government uh, and all of us should hear the tapes, the tapes should be played, that the tapes, when they were heard, would prove my innocence. Um, the government played some of the tapes. Uh, in the tapes that the government played, uh, they proved, as I said all along, that I did nothing illegal. In fact, they proved that I, I sought the advice of my lawyers uh, and my advisors. They proved that I was on the phone talking to them, brainstorming about ideas. Uh, yes, they proved some of the ideas were stupid, uh, but they also proved some of the ideas were good. Brainstorming and free speech is part of what the American experience is supposed to be. And talking to your advisors as a governor and seeking advice, especially from those who are lawyers, to make sure that you do your duty the right way was what I did and what those tapes proved. The government also proved, in their case, uh, after my lawyer, Sam Adams Jr., challenged them to follow the money, the government proved that I never took a corrupt dollar, I never took a corrupt dime, not a corrupt nickel, not a corrupt penny. And besides that, the government also proved that for the six years that I was governor, Patty and I overpaid every year our federal taxes. Now, I felt all along and believed all along that I was going to testify. The government told us that their case was going to be something like four months. And as a result of what they said their case was going to be, um, we operated under the assumption that I was going to testify. There's no secret that there's a division among my lawyers, especially between father and son, Sam Adam Jr. and Sam Adam Sr. Sam Jr. still at this moment wanted me to testify, and frankly, so did I. But I relied on the judgment, ultimately, and the advice of Sam Adams Sr., who's the coach of our team. After 49 years of experience, and when he, we sat in my living room uh, until 11.30 at night on Monday night, after talking about this issue uh, right after the government rested their case and finalizing the decision almost up until midnight Monday night, uh, Sam Adams Sr.'s most compelling argument, and ultimately the one that swayed me, was that the government, in their case, proved my innocence. They proved I did nothing illegal and that there was nothing further for us to add, and that he believed it was prudent to rest the case. And when you rest the case, that means you can't take the stand and testify. Now, I also would like to say that I've learned a lot of experiences from, uh, I've learned a lot of lessons from this whole experience, and perhaps maybe the biggest lesson I've learned is that I talk too much. Thank you. Governor, was your concern Governor, that Tony Reds...